So you can take a you can take a video from the web and you can basically put it on the surface of a, a wall or something in Second Life, and that works today. There's a lot of movie theaters and drive-ins and things that people use. You can paste in a media reference, so you can paste in a link to a, a media stream, and it'll get decoded and shown on that wall when people come into that area. You know, video's been it's still a, a minor thing. You, you don't see it everywhere. I more like the real world. Um, it's been around for about I want to say like a year and a half now. We've had that feature. Well, like the web, Second Life's just an open environment for people to make things and sell things and share things and be creative. So uh, an aspect of that is people doing that in the context of big businesses. Um, big businesses, I think, have just gotten interested in Second Life as it's become more visible over the last year or so, and so they're doing things in there also. But the world is so large at this point. You know, it's 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 equivalent to a sort of a a pretty big metropolitan city that the efforts of different larger companies in there are, for the most part, they're, you know, they're they're minority things. You have to go find their their offices and whatnot. I think people sometimes make the misunderstanding that our business model or that Second Life is driven by big uh, companies investing and actually it isn't. We just sell, we're a platform, we sell virtual land as the world gets bigger. Well, we expected it to be where it is today but we never knew when. I never knew how quickly it would take off as compared to, uh, you know, we had, we had to wait and watch the thing grow organically from the very beginning. You know, marketing attempts to get it out there were really, frankly, not not all that effective. Second Life's always just grown as a result of the community growing itself. So we just had to wait and watch. But I always believe that virtual worlds would, in, their, in, the, in the form that we see today, be successful in, in this kind of way. I just didn't know exactly what year, so we tried to grow slowly and not overinvest. We actually have open sourced the client. It's essentially a thin client, so you can make our client run on a mobile phone and people are working on that. You, should, you can make it run on the web. There's an Ajax version that you can log into Second Life and chat with your friends that was built by a, a woman in uh, Canada, uh, a, a teenage uh, woman in Canada. So it's, there's all kinds of stuff going on using the open source code.